good morning guys welcome back to the vlog welcome back to the channel it is not so early in the morning it's already like 11 or i think it's almost noon right now i already had like my coffee my breakfast walked the dogs and uh just like started writing down my to-do list for the day and the couple of following days so for this video i think i'm going to be vlogging um for like the couple of days next couple of days maybe today and tomorrow probably uh, I think I'll try to do everything today and tomorrow. I'm not necessarily in a funk or anything, but I definitely feel like I need some new energy in my life. We are just about to move. We have around two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks, I think, at this point, uh, till our move. So it's getting closer and i just want to just organize everything get prepared this move was definitely something that we initiated ourselves so it has to be something super like pleasant and positive like i don't want to turn this into a negative experience because like we didn't have to move or anything we just decided we wanted to improve our lives so this should be something like super positive experience so yeah i guess i'm trying to say that i just want to do everything right this time i want to be a little bit more organized i try to be organized i'm always trying to improve in that area but i don't always succeed i don't like when i uh, set myself for failure and then I just end up like being so stressed and frustrated because I have a lot of things to do in a very short period of time this time I want to do things right but yeah I just need to go through all of my things I still have a lot of my fall winter clothing down in like the closet wardrobe area like in the reachable wardrobe area and I have up here on these shelves like these IKEA uh, boxes that I use to store seasonal clothing that's like out of season so I'm going to put down these boxes I already started this yesterday so I have a bunch of clothing here um, on the bench and I have three or four more of these cases to go through so that's what I'm gonna do today I also have my housekeeper my cleaner coming over today uh, but she's coming lately in the afternoons like she switched her schedule and so she's gonna come in the afternoon I think she comes around three I don't have that much time initially I wanted to like wash my hair get ready for this because I just I don't know I lately I've been filming and I've been looking like a potato so I'm like okay maybe I just wash my hair but honestly you guys i just want to keep this real i want to bring you guys along on this like whole journey and this is just the reality i don't have time to wash my hair i'm gonna do this because this is a priority so enough rambling let's start organizing and decluttering and sorting this whole mess here behind me sleeping underneath um so i'm gonna try not to wake him up <laughs> but yeah this is where we're at so this pile over here are some summer shorts and like pants and bottoms that i need to put in the closet then in this bag i have all of the clothing uh i woke him up i'm sorry uh, in this bag over here, I just have all the clothing that I am going to give away. Then over here, I have just filled in the second one of these and it's like pretty full. I think I will add some more pieces because I have some like fall winter dresses which are still pretty thin and they can fit on top here. Uh, so I'm going to do that after lunch. But yeah, this is the progress on the packing of the fall winter clothing and then let me show you in here where we're at so in here yeah this is where we're at here these are just like tops and some bottoms like some pants that i like to hang like so because down here in this bottom drawer i have jeans and pants that i don't need to hang like the ones that are not wrinkling uh, and then in here in this drawer i normally used to have my sweaters but now i just put all the tops and 
some summer and spring skirts and bottoms and I'm not going to organize anything that's what I'm trying to kind of like show you it doesn't really make any sense like why would I just now spend time organizing when I'm going to pack this up anyways and in here I'm not gonna even open this because I have just some like underwear and stuff and that drawer has to be sorted out as well today because it's really messy and I have a lot of things that I don't need so that's gonna get decluttered as well so this is the current progress now I moved to this section where I keep my like jackets blazers and dresses because it's a long section so I have like space for all these like long items so I'm going through that I already started we still have a lot to go all of those are like fall winter uh, blazers and jackets so I have to get those out so I just put on the jacket and I'm gonna run downstairs and just wanted to show you how cute is this little mini pochette that I unboxed in my last video I actually added this chain from my other like, Louis Vuitton bag and it's actually so cute like together it fits perfectly this is so perfect for me when i need to just like run downstairs and grab some groceries or just need to get out the door and bring like very uh, bare essentials with me i need to show you guys my new golf cap i am obsessed with this one <laughs> um it says no one cares what you shot and if you guys play golf you would understand it is hilarious i love it and i don't know i just love wearing it while playing i think it gives like a right message no one cares <laughs> i just love it and the colors are so cute like the pink and the green i don't know why i showed you that anyways let's go to the store let me show you guys just quickly what i got it was like a very short and quick like a little grocery run i just needed some bread so i got this very nice fresh sourdough bread and i saw they had fresh pretzels sometimes they have these but most of the time they're like sold out because people get them in the morning i guess i don't know uh and then i needed some bananas i got some organic ones and they're a little bit green but it's fine i'll wait just like one day and then i have some sliced turkey breast which i'm gonna use for my sandwich uh but yeah i'm gonna just have a little bit of this pretzel while i make my own sandwich because i'm just starving and this looks delicious i have a bit of yogurt left over from i'm just gonna dip the pretzel into yogurt it's like my favorite thing i used to eat that as a kid so i really love it I obviously washed my hair I was actually transferring the footage from my camera to the computer after my lunch and I just could not watch myself with that horrendous greasy hair so I had to wash my hair and get ready I kind of like curled up my hair a lot this time because I really wanted to last a little bit longer the sun came out so it's a really nice day and i want to use the opportunity and go and walk the dogs so i'm gonna do that and get some sun outside i don't think i'm gonna bring my camera or anything i think i'm just gonna grab my keys and put them in the pocket of this sweatshirt because i really want to be like light and just enjoy my walk sometimes when i bring my phone i end up like looking at my phone or just going through like instagram or just like my emails or whatever but i end up spending time on my phone and i really want to to enjoy the day that is another part of my spring reset routine i just want to be more present in the moment and just enjoy little moments and i want to also spend more time in nature but like actively in nature not just like walking around because i have two dogs so of course like i am always outside with them i just find myself sometimes just doing it as a routine and not really enjoying it on top of that if i bring my phone i would like end up just listening to a podcast podcast or just i don't know i'm just like not in the moment so much i usually end up just like being occupied by something i am going to be missing this uh view from the window because it is really gorgeous view 
of course the place where i'm going to has even better view but there's just something about being like in the center of the city but then also having this beautiful like uh view in the nature because we live just across the park like the biggest park in milan so yeah i really really like this view and we have this gorgeous like big windows here in the living room so i am gonna miss that for sure let me show you guys the view so this is the view from my living room how pretty it is right now with all the flowers blossoming all right you guys i'm back in my closet walk the dogs i didn't bring the camera nor my phone so it was a very nice peaceful walk and i really enjoyed it i feel like so weird standing like this and talking to you guys it's like i'm presenting something <laughs> But it's just like everything is so messy right now here. I have literally nowhere to sit down. I actually have to change because we just uh, decided. And when I say we, I mean my husband and I, we just decided that we're going to go and play golf. And we decided that we're going to go and try and play like six to nine holes today of golf. Because it's a really nice and sunny day. We want to use the opportunity. He can leave work a little bit earlier today. So... He's gonna pick me up we're gonna go and do a little round of golf so i'm gonna change immediately into my golf clothes and then i'm gonna do a little bit more uh, cleanup uh, until he calls me and i need to go downstairs so yeah let me find my golf clothes and what i'm gonna wear in this whole mess over here it's gonna be very difficult now but yeah i think i'm just gonna wear like a pair of white pants because i don't have all of my golf clothes down like the lighter golf clothes it's still in a box. I guess we are doing like an all white look today because this is the only polo that I have right now that's clean. Also, these pants are more like a cream white and the polo is like a bright white, but I think it's fine because the socks are more like bright and also the sneakers are more like a pure bright white. So I guess it's gonna look okay. I don't really care. It's quite late. Probably there's not gonna be many people around anyways on the course, so I really don't care. And yeah, that's my little golf look, super easy. I also need to find my belt because I just like having a belt when I play golf. Like, I don't know, I just feel more secure. Like my pants are not sliding down and I am not really feeling my hair today. It's so curly now and it has a lot of like volume. Normally that's like a good thing, but I just don't like when my hair has a lot of volume because... I don't know, I just feel like I like when I have a little bit of volume here in the roots, but I don't like when it has a lot of body here. I think I'm just going to tie it and put a cap because anyways, I always wear a cap on a golf course to protect my face and my eyes. Yeah. <music> pretty much done for today i just cleaned up everything the bench is cleared up there's just a few piles here that i am going to put away tomorrow and i am pretty satisfied with the progress i swear you guys i hate this hair and i hate wearing polos and i just do not feel like myself yeah i think i'm gonna tie my hair up because i think it's cuter i just need a new hair tie this one is like ridiculous you know the one that you cannot loop like three times and then two times is not enough. Oh, but yeah, okay, let's get going. Oh no, I need to pack clothes for Giacomo. Guys, we just arrived to the club. I'm in the car. I'm just about to leave and go get the car and our bags. And it's hilarious. I had to wait for Giacomo to leave to vlog because he just got so mad because I was supposed to bring him his clothes for golf. Like he asked me to bring like a pair of pants, a polo and his golf shoes. And I guess I just like didn't look well. So when I opened the closet, there was only one pair of like beige pants. 
and I grabbed those, I put them in the bag, and now we arrived to the club, and he opened the bag, and he was like, oh my god, like, these are the wrong pants, like, what did you bring me? I, I told you to bring me a different pair of pants, and I was like, these were the only beige pants in your closet, so he kind of flipped out, um, I told him to go to the pro shop and just get a pair of pants if these are not good. So yeah, I don't know what he did. I'm going to go now to... It's like so hilarious and I didn't want to laugh because I know how upset I would be. But then it's just like funny for a guy when they get like so upset about clothing or something like that. And it was not about the clothing because he just told me that uh, actually this pair of pants is not like it doesn't fit him anymore. And he was like, they don't fit me well. Like I, I, can, I'm, I can barely close them. They're too small. And I was like, why do you have them in your closet <laughs> if they're too small, if you can't wear them? Anyways, it's super funny. But yeah, I hate my hair, you guys. I curled it up so much. And it feels like so like curly and just stiff. I don't know. I can't wait for this to fall out a little bit. Hopefully tomorrow after like I sleep on it, it falls down a little bit. I lost my breath. Yeah. It's such a beautiful day for golf today. And the course is looking amazing because it's pretty dry and sunny. But I mean, yeah, the grass is really good. <laughs> Where was I going with this? It's dry and sunny. I meant the grass is really nice. It's not wet, but it's pretty green because it's like sunny. Oh, so we have a four people in front of us. So it's a little bit slower. So we have a little break. Now I want to hear from Giacomo what happened with his pants. Can you tell everyone what's wrong with your pants? Brought me winter pants. They look summery. They're beige. Yeah, okay, but it's like wool. <laughs> I find it hilarious. It looks absolutely perfect and appropriate. Very good. You guys, I wish I filmed this shot. I had an amazing driver. I mean, amazing for my standards. But yeah, I didn't film it. I'll try to film the next one. Hopefully it's good as this one. Now we're looking for Giacomo's ball. So I'm back home and I'm just about to go ahead and take off my makeup. We had dinner at the club, so um, it's quite late. We finished, it was like eight o'clock, so we just figured it would be better to eat there um, instead of like go home and then figure out what to eat. So we would eat too late. So I am in the bathroom. I'm just going to do a quick like double cleanse with the Elemis cleansing like oil gel and then I'm just gonna wash it off I don't really have like makeup I just have some tinted moisturizer and um, I think I had just a little bit of mascara I don't remember I think I did I'm almost not oh yeah something is coming off I ended up having like the worst day of uh, golf Probably because like <laughs> the pressure of like being with new people, I don't know. And it really depends on people. Like some people make you feel more comfortable, some people make you feel less comfortable. So I guess it wasn't really like my day. So I had a horrible golf day. So my battery died in the middle of me washing my face. And luckily I had the spare one just here with me. So I'm just going to do my very, very quick skincare routine and yeah, I am probably just going to go and watch a little bit of something on TV before going to bed. So I want to go to bed like fairly early so tomorrow I can do everything that I need to do. I need to start packing and organizing things because this weekend we're just gonna start bringing some things to our permanent location and i want to have a good night's sleep so i can wake up like on time i'm just one of those people that i need my like good night's sleep otherwise i just cannot wake up or like function i was never able to do so i <laughs> Did you not, you guys, I missed so many like really important things in life just because I would not be able to wake up literally like 
I am like in a coma. Everyone knows that who knows me, like I can have an alarm. I mean, unless there is a person to physically like wake me up and like check up on me and come and see if I'm up, I would not be up and out of the bed if I didn't have like my proper like eight hours sleep. And things haven't changed since then. I still do that. And it's really bad because like just sometimes in life, you know, you can't have like your proper good night's sleep and you need to do things the next day and you have like responsibilities and it can be very tricky if you're like me. So no wonder I like always under deliver. I'm gonna um, see you guys again in the morning. I will stop filming now because actually I'm just going to turn down the lights and prepare myself to like a sleeping mode. So I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow when I Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I'm just finishing off my morning coffee and I was editing this vlog and I just realized that I looked so pale and like dead lit, like deadless, lifeless <laughs> in my previous clips. So I decided to put a little bit of makeup. Also, I realized that like my teeth are looking pretty like dull and I have been having like issues when it comes to teeth whitening. I started experiencing a lot of like sensitivity. I tried the whitening strips, which I never tried before because the only method I used was like the trays that you get at the dentist's office and then you put on the gels inside and I think that's like a little bit more safe and secure method for your teeth but what happened is that my teeth are actually shifting so I used to wear braces and I wasn't really good with my retainers I never wore my retainers so my teeth shifted quite a lot you can see that my front teeth are actually not like centered they're not aligned with my nose <laughs> So yeah, now my trays are not fitting me anymore. So I think what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to probably look into getting Invisalign. Uh, this is another part of my spring reset. I want to like, you know, do a little bit of like self-care and just maybe book some treatments and get some things done that I always wanted to do. So I've been thinking about getting Invisalign for quite some time now, but it's just with the pandemic and everything, I never went ahead and booked an appointment. I actually had one appointment, but I really didn't like the dentist. He didn't speak any English and it was, he was just not giving me like the right vibes. And I feel like with dentists or any type of doctors that you need to see more often and go back to them, I think it's very important that you have like a good relationship and that you have like a good energy. So I want to keep looking. But yeah, after that, like which happened like more than a year ago, I never went for another appointment. So I think I want to look into booking an appointment with another dentist. And I already looked on Invisalign website. You can find like all the licensed dentists in your area. How did I get to my teeth? You guys, I get so easily distracted. Oh yeah, I was saying that I noticed that my teeth also are looking like a little bit dull, like not necessarily yellow, but they're just like not as bright as I want them to be. So I might give it a try again and try using the whitening strips because I cannot fit the trays. I don't know if you guys have any experience or if you know like whitening strips that are not too like abrasive and too harsh on the teeth. Uh, please leave them down below in the comment section so I can check them out. I'm going to change very quickly because I actually need to go downstairs and help Giacomo. He is bringing some stuff from the storage. We have the movers coming over here next weekend on Saturday and we also have like a little storage unit, like a garage that we used for some stuff that just didn't fit this apartment because we moved from a bigger house, like we lived in a house in Geneva so we didn't have like space for all of our things so we have few pieces of furniture just some random bits in that garage so Giacomo went over there loaded the car and brought everything here I need to go downstairs and help him out okay Giacomo just came in and he brought this by himself and I am just like I don't know how he did it this is just so heavy this little piece of furniture it looks like small but it's extremely heavy so I'm like why didn't you just call me to help you Watson Watson come inside Watson, come inside. Ah, glasses. 
I forgot about those. We have another full box. Yeah, because I don't know what I thought. I thought we we're gonna break them. What, Tom? You're running away. What? Oh, you have the keys? of like bags they don't have any more the boxes that i used to use the ones that i have in my closet but yeah these are totally fine for the purpose and then we also got two more rails it is yet another day obviously this took us way longer than i even anticipated but honestly now when i look like the amount of things we have here it's absolutely expected that we couldn't do this in like one day i just made myself coffee and i came here to grab the camera so i'm gonna go back to the kitchen finish off my coffee and my breakfast the kitchen is in absolute mess because we had some takeout yesterday night and yeah i need to clean this guys i just wanted to show you quickly the progress we made and i am so overwhelmed by the amount of stuff and things that we have so yeah all the shoes are gone these are the shoes that i left for the trip to lugano for like one month i might reduce this as well i might take out a few more pairs because i really don't know how much space i'm gonna have in the suitcase then here are the handbags i'm just packing them up right now and also i'm like deciding which bags I'm gonna keep with me. Probably I'll have my little white Poland bag then. I think I'm gonna keep the Bouchette Matisse because it's so universal and just like goes with everything. And then I have my uh, little cream Louis Vuitton one and I'm thinking whether I should just bring this one as well or not because I love it. It's so small and cute like for nights out. It's very convenient like with a chain and like, like a good shoulder bag. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one then these are definitely not going with me the chanel flap the um valentino one 
and yeah over here i just have my large tom ford tote which also i don't know if i'm going to be bringing with me i think i'm going to pack my laptop my like ipad all of my cables cameras and stuff into this one uh, because it's way more convenient and durable and it fits a lot more than the tom ford tote a lot of hangers a lot of stuff around a lot of boxes some boxes still up on the closet but i'm gonna deal with that later i don't really have time to do it now because we actually have to leave the apartment in less than an hour we have to go and do a first round yeah i just have some other handbags here i have some shoes over here that i also need to figure out where i'm gonna put but yeah overall it's unbelievably messy and i am extremely overwhelmed with everything but that's how it is we made it i just got back home my allergies are killing me today i'm really sorry if i sound very congested also you know if like my nose is red just got back home we did the first round of unloading our stuff in our permanent place we're gonna move into somewhere like midsummer we couldn't fit everything into the car because we moved with our car so we couldn't fit everything so we still have one round to go and we just arranged to do that uh next week like mid next week so i think i'm gonna call it a day now because i am pretty tired we did a lot it was so heavy and just i didn't film because it started becoming like very overwhelming we had so much to pack so i couldn't film like everything but i took some pictures i was sending to my mom and my sister just to show them like how much stuff there was and i'm gonna insert a couple of pictures on the screen so you guys know what we dealt with 10 big like cases that we got from ikea and then i think another eight cases that i used to have like on top of my wardrobe the white ones also from ikea so it's a lot of stuff okay let me show you actually what's left here because i have some other stuff right here in front of me so this is what we have left to bring next week so this whole pile of clothes those are all like coats and like longer items like some long dresses and stuff like that and then over here you see there is another pile on this couch uh a little bit smaller than this one i think or the same and then we have pretty much the same amount left also in the dressing room so three times this oh my god so much stuff i am so exhausted and yeah it's just times like this where i'm like i want to be a minimalist like i wish i had like less stuff but then I know that like in general, like a day-to-day -day life, I wouldn't be happy. So I know that I wouldn't be happy. So that's not exactly what I can aim for. But you guys, I think I'm going to close the vlog here because it's already like way too long. Thank you so much for watching and I will pick up from tomorrow and see you guys in the next one.